a question for you, Shivani. So about resume, um, and uh, what do you think uh, it should be highlighted in an MBA application resume? Assuming there are different audience, right? Um, how do you think it should be different from a job search resume? That's a good question. Um, I would say like it's not too different. I would say from a job search resume, but I would like you're a, for an MBA um app resume. If you're applying your like senior year, like obviously you can talk more about like the organizations you're a part of. Um, whereas like the job search resume, I think they want to see more like internship or like you know, actual work experience, um, industry experience. I think that's like one key difference, but definitely for MBA app resume, talk about leadership in some degree, like that really matters. Um, like whether you initiated something, started something or like mentored someone, like talk about that in your resume and make sure you, you know, quantify your results, um, use action oriented verbs, um, and definitely have like at least two people read it and give you really critical feedback. And Karen can be one of those people. <laughs> Thank you for endorsing that. Um, so my next question is for Benson. So I know um, some asked what uh, AC prom is popular. And I said, um, at least you need to think about what you want to do after MBA, right? Um, and then, but it's kind of challenging. You are still at school to envision what are your post MBA career goal uh, as a student. So how did you approach that? Yeah, for sure. Um, for me, actually, I feel like I've always kind of known that I wanted to be in the climate space. Um, sustainability is really, really important to me. I grew up internationally in Shanghai. So it was like heavy pollution. And, you know, so there was kind of a one to one relationship in what I wanted to do in the future. Um, but in terms of actually like writing out my post MBA career goals, I think there are a lot of different paths that you could take. Um, and like specifically the sustainability like sphere. So I think um, I tried to like identify how I curated my journey throughout college and maybe even high school. So to have a portfolio that caters towards like being successful in my MBA and then eventually um, like the, the post-career goal. Um, so I previously mentioned uh, perhaps entrepreneurship. I also thought about like maybe impact investing in this space. Um, I think that there are a lot of like fantastic scientists with like intuit ideas that just don't necessarily have like the business acumen to help proliferate the adoption of their business or their like prototype. Um, so it's really recognizing what are like the current deficiencies in the market and like what purpose that you you can serve and how like has your current like journey aligned to get you there. Um, yeah. Does that answer your question? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, students, we can talk more if you, uh, you know, wanted some feedback about your essay for sure. Um, then my uh, final question is for Howard. I know Wharton's application process is a little different in terms of their interview. Um, and if I understand correctly, they are still doing this team-based discussion type of interview. So how did you prepare for that? And what do you think is, um, you know, um, a right, um, you know, behavior to be in that, um, you know, scenario, like, you know, a bunch of very high performing um, um, college students and everybody wanted to, you know, uh, success in, in that interview. How did you approach and prepare? So um, I approached for the team-based interview. First, first of all, I want to give some background. So for, for Wharton specifically, uh, you have to, um, it's a team-based interview. And then there will be a one-on-one -on -one interview for maybe a couple minutes. But the in-person, the, the TBD interview will be take place um, around 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Um, and uh, essentially, essentially, we will be given a, um, um, a sort, sort of prompt and um, you got to, you got to, uh, come up with uh, a solution for a prompt by working with your team. And my approach was uh, a little bit different. I know all the, uh, a lot of uh, people who apply for these uh, business school are super aggressive people. 
and wanted to take over every conversation, right? But my, my approach for this was 70% um, of the time, uh, I am a listener of the, of the team and knowing and, uh, and spending the time uh, scrutinizing on everyone, um, you know, to re read the atmosphere of the room and, you know, get to know uh, each of the person. And the most important thing is to not take over all the conversation because that person who take, took over all the conversation ended up not getting in. But um, that per the person who encouraged other um, to speak is the real leader. And oftentimes we might, we might always think the real leader are the one who took over all the conversation. But doing a team-based interview, you want to be the person who encourage other people to to speak, and I think um, that's the that's the beauty of uh, um, becoming a leader and demonstrate your leadership during this short amount of time. Um, and and something that I I kind of um, did not aware of is that um, actually the problem the problem is the given you beforehand. Uh, so, you know, I, they, they provide me with a website to prepare the TBD interview. And I realized it was the, it was the same question that I got, same problem that I got um, during the actual TBD interview. So I guess that's how I got in. 